Hello, 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 and welcome to your power session. Today, I've decided to use some light weights. If you don't have your light weights, you can grab your cans of food or bottles, and then a small Pilates ball, and if you don't have that ball, you can use a small cushion or a puff can soccer ball. We get creative with what we have. All right, I am freezing, but don't worry, because I'm gonna get us warm, get us moving, and get the full body worked. All right, feet, knees, hips all in line, connect your center, and we move that spine nice and early. Always using this to gauge what is the body feeling like today, how tight, how stiff. Let's get a feeling its best as we roll down. Getting that alignment perfect right from your start. Deep breath, exhale, roll, let's stay hanging out here. Warming your legs up, bending and stretching. One. Bend and stretch. Two. Keep going for three. Bend and stretch. Four. And let's go. Five. Breathe out for six. And breathe. Seven. One to go. And eight. Soften knees. Slowly rolling your body up. Lift that right arm going to your side. Reach. Inhaling back, exhale, side, reach. And two to go, breathe out, side. And back, exhale, side. And one more, reaching over and add that pulse out for five, four, and three. Breathe, two, and one, reaching the arm over, pulse, five, and four. And three, breathe, two, and one, come back, anchoring everything in place. Big loop, get those shoulders moving, two, exhale, three, breathe out, four, and one more, five, by the way, let's circle, one, breathe out for two, exhale for three, deep breath out, four, one more, and five, Interlace hands behind the body and open up chest, shoulders, and neck in the front. Two breaths here. Give me another deep core breath. And from here, wrap those hands around your knee. Find your balance. Try to get that knee deep into your chest. Stretch that standing leg and then core. Three, two, one, we take that leg that you're holding and place it behind you. Soften that standing knee. Let's go. I want you to forward tilt, pull that knee away from you. Inhale, bring it back again. Breathe out, forward tilt. Inhale, draw it back. Three, breathe out, tilt. And last time, four. Exhale, tilting, stretching. Three. And two, breathe one, take that foot, cross it over, anchoring your hips forward and move into that side line stretch. Inhale, breathe out, side line stretch and tuck your chin, roll down, connect your core and just give me two breaths in that stretch, staying in the center, no tilt forward or back. Beautiful as you roll it up. Find your balance. Foot up to the back. Soften that standing leg. Suri. Pull that knee to the front and hold. Find your core. Tricks you there. Hold three. Hold two. Now we go to the back. And from here, let's go for it, guys. Four tilt. Inhale, center. Yes, deep breath out. Two. Inhale, come back. Exhale for three. And last time, find your balance. Stretch up that thigh. Deep breaths holding. Another three. Breathing. Two. We take that foot, place it across, hip stay forward, and side reach. Inhale, back, breathe outside, reach. And from here, roll down. Stretch this out for two, for one. And then slowly bringing your body back up. And let's have some fun. Grabbing that cushion. If you have that cushion, you're going to fold it in half. If you have that ball, excellent. 
and those weights in the hands. We place that cushion or ball behind your knees. Squeeze so you have that hamstring engaged. That standing knee is going to stay nicely bent and anchored for that whole set. Now from here, we're going to glide knee and arms into a frontal raise. Palms are facing each other, shoulders stay down. We're going to tilt back, activate your triceps, your upper back, squeezing into that ball, bums, hamstring, core. Let's go, inhaling, frontal raise. And breathe out into your forward tilt, squeeze. Inhale for three, find that balance. Squeeze that ball and cushion, feel that standing leg working. Let's go four and forward tilt to squeeze. Inhale, lifting five. Breathe out forward tilt and squeeze. Inhale for six. Woo! And forward tilt, squeezing in. Seven. Inhale, not letting go of that core connection. And to squeeze. I want one more. On eight and hold this position. Arms and legs. Ten. Nine. Watch your chin and shoulders. Don't let them tense up. We on six and five and four and three and two and one. Find that forward tilt. Keep your balance. Stretch those elbows, arms and legs. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, and hello, buddy. Are you warm? I know mine is. Repeat on the other side. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, find that balance. Standing knee in, same form. We're going to your frontal raise. Standing knee, same bend. Keep that kneecap still. Engage into upper back triceps. Let's go. Squeeze in that cushion and ball. As you breathe out, find your line. Three, inhale, lift. Exhale, let's squeeze it forward. Four, inhale, front line. And let's squeeze it forward for five. Inhale, lift, and breathe out, lower, six. Inhale, lift, and breathe in out, lower, seven. Inhale, exhale to lower down, one more, and lift, hold it here, yeah. pulse up, ten, nine, eight, and seven. Breathe, six, and five and four, and three, and two, let's go down, one, two, one, elbows stay straight, find that balance, pulse, ten, nine, eight, seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one, relax, amazing, I want you to place that ball and cushion aside, I want those feet hip distance apart, I want these palms facing forward. Center your chin, shoulders as we rise up into your core. Glide those arms into a lateral raise. Inhale, lower just a little heel tap. Two connecting core as you lift. And I want you to stay strong with those shoulders, not letting them glide up. Keep that connection. Inhale, lower. Breathe, I'm not allowing that body to tilt back. Show me strong core. Inhale, lower. Exhale, five to go. And come down. Breathe, I lengthen the four. And lower. Three, lengthen and lift. Inhale, lower, two. Exhale, two, lift. Inhale, four, one. Now find your balance. Find your posture here. Yeah. Palms stay facing forward, and we're going to glide our hands in front. Open this up, connect your shoulder blades, and two. If that neck and shoulder line is tensing, drop the hands lower. Keep it at a range that feels good for your neck, no tensing out. And six more. 
and open, breathe, five, and open, breathe, four, and out, and three, and out, and two, and last time, breathe for one, drop those arms halfway, arms, legs, pulse, two, straighten those ankles, three, yes, four, control that move, five, and six, and seven, breathe eight, Whoa. and nine, is there steam coming, knock those legs, little smaller, faster, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, relax, amazing, bring those legs into the center, palms face forward, glue the elbows into the body, and from here, we're going to rise up into that one ankle at that bicep curl. Inhale, come down. You can keep that other foot to support. Breathe out, zone that standing ankle and come down. Exhale, be conscious of those elbows staying against the body. Don't let those elbows have a packed egg, keep them glued. Breathe out, rising up. Not letting that body tilt back into those lower spines. Six more rise and come down. Five. Exhale, rising up. Inhale, four. Breathe out to lift and three. Exhale, lift. You have just ankles of dynamite. They're so strong because of all this. And two. Now find your balance at the top on one. Arms and leg pulse halfway. Ten and nine and eight. Squeeze that bum and seven. Hello, calf and six and five and four and three. Breathe two. We got even smaller. Speed it up. Let's go. Ten, nine. Arms, leg and seven and six, five and four and three and two and one. Thank you, so up. And of course, guys, if you don't feel it burning that much, stop, rewind, repeat. Yes. Depends on your mood. Let's go for it. Same arms. Rising up, connecting ribs and belly, lower down. Watching that knee doesn't want to bend as you move. Again, watch those elbows do not pop away from the body. Keep that anchor. Four, lift to the ceiling and come down. Exhale, five, six, the legs for summer, here we come. Breathe out, six, and come down. Exhale, four, seven, and lower. Breathe out, eight, inhale, come down. Exhale, nine, and come down. You know it's coming a half, let's go, ten. And nine, and eight, breathe, and seven, up, and six, up, and five, and four, and three, and two, are we ready, smaller, bust, and let's go for it, ten, nine, pass, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, relax, now I know those legs are warm, let's get those quads, Thumbs, hamstrings, and triceps activated. Take that step out to the back. Up onto your toes. Hips facing forward. I want those arms gliding slightly in front. And from here, we're going to add a forward tilt. Work the row back. Connect those shoulder blades. Check your chin, neck, shoulder placement, knee, and ankle in line. Push through that front leg as you come back. Again, really watching the back foot. Don't let it turn out. Knees stay facing forward. And stretch. Three, let's row it back. And press it back. And breathe out. Four. Inhale, watch those collarbones. Don't curl forward for five. Inhale, back. Breathe out. Long line from that head through the neck down your spine. Let's go, four more. Power that front leg. Exhale, for three. And back. Exhale, two. And last time, now go deep into your position. Check your knee and ankle position here. Yeah. Power your front leg, give you a tricep extension. Two, 
and back, and three, keep those elbows still, four, pointing up, and five, breathe, six, and seven, deep breath, eight, exhale, nine, one more, ten, hold it there, lift that front heel up into the air, find your balance, now, arms, leg, ten, keeping up, nine, squeeze, eight, and seven, breathe, six, exhale, five, do not let go, core, we on three more, and two more, and one more, drop that heel, stretch that leg, and so on, boom, it's getting hot in here, love it, other side, big step back, toes, knees, hips, all facing forward, glide those hands in front, and from here, we breathe up as we lower the sun. Glide those arms backwards like so. Inhale, come back. Breathe out, checking your knee, your ankle, your hips. And back. Be really strict with where your head and those shoulders want to go. Power that front leg out. Be strict with placement of that kneecap. Let's go, get down. Inhale, five. Exhale, lower, breathe, four, power, bum, hamstring, thigh, and three. Exhale, squeeze, inhale, two. Exhale, squeeze. Now one is where you find it there. From here, we point those elbows back. Extension, squeeze, bend, and two. Bend, and three. Squeeze those triceps, we on five. And six, three, four, seven. Exhale, eight. Exhale, nine. Now hold it on ten. Lift that front heel up. Are we ready? Combo, arms, leg. Two, keeping core. And four, and five. Breathe, six, and seven. Breathe, eight, and nine. One more, and ten. Lower heel, stretch leg, and soar. Amazing. Dropping those weights for a moment. Let's get onto the back of the mat. Roll it down. All right. Give those calves that stretch that they are yearning for. Lift those hips up. Give me that beautiful stretch out for three. Get ears and arms in line. For two. For one. Bring your knees down. Slide your hands under the shoulders. Take it a moment to just get that neck and spine feeling loosely goosey. And slowly release it through the body. Again, breathe out, tucking and curling in. Really feeling that core engage, feeling that body mobilize. Two more. Exhale, curl. And let's release it out. One more. Breathe out to curl. And release. Draw your toes together. Open knees, bum sits down. Reach those hands forward. And enjoy that stretch out for three. For two. For one. As you open your legs, one side. Stretch three. Two and one other way. Walk it over. Two hold three and two. Breathing one. Walk to center and slowly bringing that body upright. Okay, the fun stuff. Weight into the front hand. Ball or cushion behind that back leg. Flexing that foot. I want your knees together in the center. I want your feet flipped, hands directly under your shoulders. Find beautiful placement at power level. I'm hoping your neck and shoulders no, no tensing up, please. Till that you are going to bed. And let's glide that heel, that arm, that palm is going to face you. Check your wrist and elbows stay straight and flat. Let's lower down to tap. Again, squeezing that cushion and ball so you're getting that bum and hamstring triggering every time. And always staying really conscious of those hips, that lower back. Alignment is priority. Let's go for four. 
Inhale, come down. Squeeze up for five. Inhale, check that elbow near the locks. Breathe for six. Inhale, lower. Exhale, seven. Inhale, down. Exhale, eight. And come down to more. Breathe nine. And one more now. Anchor this arm in place. That knee, squeeze that cushion. Ten or more. Nine. Nothing else moves. We on seven. Breathe out six. And five. And four. And three. And two. Keep your squeeze. Turn your palm to face down. Glide that arm out. And in. Nothing else moves. And squeeze. Breathe three. And squeeze. Inhale four. Squeeze. Breathe five. And back. Inhale six. And back, four more, breathe seven. And back, breathe eight. And back, and nine. Are we ready for that core challenge? We bend that elbow, thread your way through. Do not let those hips tilt. And then bring it back. Again, we bend in that elbow, thread that way through. And back, remember, we are squeezing that ball, squeezing that cushion. Hello, core below. Let's go fall. And come back. Try not to collapse. Breathe five. And come back. Breathing six. And I just want two more. Please exhale seven. And one more. Breathe out for eight. Take a moment. Check your alignment. Head, neck, shoulders, back, hips. And relax. Boom! Please tell me you're feeling that work, work, work. But in the fun way. Swapping around. Now just turn around so you can keep an eye on this arm placement. Body weight in the centre. Get that cushion and ball in the right place. Lengthen your neck and line. Knees are together. And from here we're gliding that up. Tricep shoulder blade, bum, hamstring, all kicking in. Let's go for two. Inhale, come down. Squeezing up three, body weight staying in the middle. Exhale, four. And come down. Breathe out five. Inhale, to lower. Breathe out six. Inhale, come down. Exhale, seven. And lower. Breathe for eight. Inhale, watch those hips and back. Exhale, nine. Now, anchoring here on number 10, squeeze that ball, 10, release, and 9, release, and 8, check that elbow, does a lock, 7, breathe out, 6, exhale, 5, breathe out, 4, exhale, 3, breathe out, 2, keep that squeeze, palm stays down, glide that arm out, and squeeze, inhale, 2, Squeeze into the body, three, and back. Breathe, four, exhale, back, and five. Squeeze in, and six, and squeeze. Breathe, seven, and back. Inhale, eight, and back, two more, nine. And are we ready? Challenge, bend that elbow, thread through, one. And back, squeeze that ball and cushion. Watch those hips and back. Breathe out three, do not collapse. Exhale four, hello, obliques. Breathe out five. And back, exhale six and two more. Breathe seven and one more deep breath. Eight, find alignment, check, chain, neck, shoulders, hips, back. And relax. Delish. I want you on hands and knees once again. And just give me that side to side tilt. Opening up those QLs. Again, for two. Breathe out, side tilt. One more. Let's go. Three. Exhale, side tilt. And from here, keep those hips lifted. Lengthen hands forward, upper spine, stretch out for three, two, four, one. 
Roll that spine up. Take your big step forward with your back foot and go deep into that hip flexor line and stretch that out, pushing that hip down towards the ground. Take it a step deeper as you dig toes into the floor. Lift that back knee, hold five, hold four, hold three. Shall we see what those hamstrings are doing? Try to keep those hips forward. Lengthen that leg up and hold five, four, nose to knee, three, two, and one. Bend those legs down, swap over, other side, hands down, and press into your hip flexor. What are your shoulders doing? What is that spine doing? And hold. Beautiful. Toes begin. Go that deep activation. Push through your heel. Lengthen that back knee. Let's get these hip flexors so mobile that we can really engage deep, deep, deep core. And hold that stretch up. Five, four, three. Breathe two and one. Good work. And from here, bring your bodies down, interlace hands and get a nice stretch out of chest, shoulders. Good. And have a close look at my plank activation next. Now, elbow placement is so important. If you're going to let that happen, you're going to change the whole angle of the exercise. So, we're going to find your plank. Now, from here, tilting that pubic bone to bend. I want that elbow glued into that body. Find that 90 degree angle. And from here, we're going to rotate out. And in not letting those hips move. Watching opposite shoulder doesn't tense. And out. And four. And elbow stays close to that body. In. And five more. And in. Breathe. Four more. And in. And three. No big movements. And two. And last time, breathe one and so up. Was that a little sneaky one? Even my body was like, whoa, where did that come from? What well, can I say? I'm just having so much fun. Other side, into your perfect plane position. Alignment is key at power level. I'm trusting that you know that's priority. Elbow in, and let's go 10, and down, and nine, and down, and eight, and back, and seven, and back, and six, and back, breathe five, and lower, and four, and three, breathe out two, last time, one, and down. Oh, amazing. Now, please grab those balls, those cushions, place them in between your ankles. I want you squeezing till you get this long inner thigh activation. Weights in hands. I don't want your arms going above your head. We start and finish in this front line here. Connect shoulder blades to the ground. And we imprint, squeezing into that ball and cushion, keeping the curl in the spine. If you can get those weights over the toes, use them to pull deeper. And hold it here for two, for one, and slowly lower down, staying in control of those necks and shoulders. Again, imprinting, connecting your core, squeezing that cushion and ball, and stretch. We allowing the curl in that spine for this. Always giving that back an adjustment time to just enjoy that stretch. And knowing that this roll down is so important to control, that's what's getting those spines feeling mobile. Agile, building your dynamic spine, and it's going to that forward reach. Yes. And then slowly drawing this down, taking your time, zipping belly to spine. And one more, breathe out as we lift up into your forward reach. Now from here, I want you to stop in that line, palms face down, and from there we're gonna curl into oblique, follow that elbow. Stay in that curl, reach. 
same way, two. Inhale, back, squeeze that cushion and ball, three. So those hips do not tilt. Squeeze, four, work into shoulder blade, oblique, five. Back, breathe, six. And back, exhale, seven. Breathe, eight. Exhale, nine. One more and hold it there. Option A, hold. If your back can go, pulse. And two, listen to your spine. Three and four. Exhale, five. Breathe out, six and seven. Breathe eight and nine. One more and ten. Come back into that forward stretch. Ready for that other line. Let's go into that oblique twist. Ten and forward. Breathe nine and back. Exhale eight and back. Breathe seven and back. Exhale six. Control that move. Five. Exhale four. Breathe out three. Exhale two. Option A. Hold your position. B. Let go. Ten and nine and eight. And seven, breathe, six, and five, and four, and three, breathe, two, and one. Drop the weights for a moment, bring your feet together, use that ball and cushion to just deepen that stretch out, and hold it here yeah, for four, for three, for two, and one, placing ball and pressure between those knees. Now, let's get you into that back tilt, but lengthen out your spine, flatten it out. Palms are gonna face you, hook the elbows into the body, open your collarbones, lift those chins slightly. From here, we lift in hands and toes, and tap down. Nothing else moves, so keeping that upper body in that V-set position. Resist those biceps and down. Exhale, four, squeeze that ball. Breathe out, five, and come down. And six, and down. Breathe, seven, down. Breathe, eight, and down. Grow tall in that back. Now holding up a number 10, option A, just hold. Option B, stretch and bend. And two, keep those biceps curled. Three, do what feels right. Listen to that back. Five more and stretch. Four more, stretch. Exhale, three. Breathe out, two. Last time, one. Bend those knees, drop those weights, and lower down. Pull the knees into the body, release up those spines. And keeping that cushion and ball where it is, we just loop this around. Release that lumbar spine for three more. Excellent, breathing two more. And one, reverse out of the way for one. Breathe out for two. Exhale for three. Deep breath out four. Open your arms out. Lift those legs up to tabletop. And squeeze that ball and cushion as you lower one way. Watch your shoulders for me. And drawing it back. Other way to lower down. And coming back for two. Breathe out to lower. Inhale to center. Breathing out, lower. And coming back, one more. Exhale, lower, three breaths. Two breaths. One, drawing the back and other way to hold three. Hold two. Hold one, good, come back. Drop that ball and cushion out the way. Open those hip flexors and side joints with your option A. And option B, happy baby, if you can go there, let's push to deepen that stretch. Amazing. And our whole goal for the next exercise is all about that neutral, neutral spine. So from here, 
We're going to have that front leg in dead bug. You're going to place that cushion, if you're working with the cushion, fold it in half. Or that ball on the front of your thigh. We want to hook that shoulder blade down into the ground, elbow slightly bent. And you create this resistance. I'm pushing back with my thigh and pushing forward with my hand. Because of that, the core is automatically connected. Your other leg is going to be lifting at 90. If your hamstrings tight, soften the knee. And let's lift that dumbbell up. From here, we're going to lower that arm back, lower that leg, stopping the second you feel any tension in the back. Press into that ball, that cushion as we come back. If it's too much on your neck or shoulder to work with your weights, drop that weight and just work with that. Three, watching that neck, that shoulder line, no tension. It's all about those transverse muscles, guys. Four, let's lower down, not letting your back do the work here. Doesn't have to be a big move. Five, inhale, lower, squeeze that ball, that cushion. Six, those of you tense your jaw and neck, constantly remind yourself, let that tension go. Seven, lower, and breathe out, come back. One more, two, lower. Exhale, now hold this position. We're going to lift into a curl. One, and back. If you need that neck support, drop that weight. Use your hand above your head, behind your head. Three, squeeze that ball. Exhale, four, constantly check that chin, neck, and shoulder placement. Five, check that foot has not droop down. Breathe, six, and back. Exhale, seven, inhale, back. Breathe for eight, inhale, come back. Exhale, nine. And last time, hold it on ten. Press into that ball, give me a little crunch. Two and three and four and five and six and seven. Breathe, eight and nine, one more and ten. And relax. Hello abs, hello core, all the good stuff. Hopefully no pain and strain. All right, always listening to your body. Do what feels good in the safe range. Hook that shoulder blade down, elbow stays bent. Remember neutral spine. Let's lengthen that line, find your form, no droopy foot. And let's go lengthening now, pressing into your cushion and ball to get that tension there that deep trigger of your psoas in a core. Let's go, think of this as lengthening those abdominals. And constantly reminding jaw, neck, shoulders to stay relaxed, don't have FOMO. Four, breathe out to lower. And draw in the back, five. Exhale, lower. And come back for six. Exhale, coming down, and lift up seven. Breathe up to lower, and last one. Breathe up for eight, are we ready? Top abdominals, let's squeeze and curl, checking chin, neck, shoulders every time. If you need that neck support, drop in that weight, using that hand behind your head. Four, breathe up through your mouth. Exhale, zip that belly to spine. Six, exhale, curl. Lower, seven. Breathe out, curl. Inhale for eight. Exhale, curl. Lower for nine. Breathe out, lift. And one more, hold it. Yes, squeeze that ball, crunch. Ten, nine. Eight and seven, breathe six and five and four and three and two more and one, relax, dropping it all down. Open those arms up, open your knees out and just gently letting your head sway side to side as you relax the neck, make sure there's no tension left over. And one more side to side. Wonderful. Lovely. I want you to place that ball and cushion between your knees. I want you hooking your heels into the floor. Toes are pulling up. 
I want those arms up in front of you, palms are facing each other. Shoulder blades stay connected into the floor. We squeeze, imprint, <coughs> excuse me, and lifting up as you float these arms out, hover these hands above the ground. And slowly curling down, try stay strict with your ankles, no turning toes out or in, squeeze and opening out. And drawing it down, really work on that curling up, curling down. Squeeze, checking your alignment of your shoulders, your hips. Four, breathe out, squeeze and lift. And let's curl down. Five, breathe out to squeeze in. And let's curl down. Six, exhale, squeeze to lift. And let's lower down for seven. Breathe out to squeeze. Inhale, come back, eight, exhale, lower down, hands above the ground, and let's lower nine, breathe out to squeeze, and last time, exhale to squeeze, now stay there, and glide these arms into the body, and lift, keep those shoulder blades connected, don't let the shoulders round forward, and four, and up and five, and out, breathe, six, and out, and seven, and lift, and eight, neck relax, and nine, and drop those weights on ten, anchor your arms down, bum stays where it is, and lengthen your right leg in front, look at your knees, those hips do not tilt, we lower that bum to tap, Squeeze and lift, watch your knees stay in line, those hips do not tilt at any point. Three, toes pulling up and four, shoulders stay relaxed. Inhale, five and inhale, six, watch that leg doesn't lift and lower, seven and up, one more, breathe, eight and up, drop this heel, other side, checking your range. Let's go, one, and up, breathe, two, keep checking, no tilting, and three, be strict with your form, and four, squeeze up, and five, squeezing up, and six, and lift, and seven, and up, one more, breathe, eight, and lift, drop those heels, drop your toes, relax it down, and recover. Drop that cushion aside, hug your knee into chest and give that lower spine and hip the rest and recovery it needs. We can do three loops around, massaging that two and one reverse around for three and two, get and one as we take this knee across, anchor shoulder and hold five, four, Three, two, and one, swap of the knee, pulls into the body, and circle one, and two, breathe three, other way, let's go for one, and two, anchoring your arms, stretching across, and hold it there. Good work. Nice, and from here, let's get you onto the side, moving into a side plank series. If you want a bit of oomph, using your ball and your weight. If you want that ball and cushion, we're going to place it between your ankles. If you feel your shoulder and neck can handle working with that weight, arm next to you, palm facing forward. If it's all too much with those tools, work without them and just do your normal plank series. No neck or back pain, please. Let's go for it, squeezing as we lift up. If you work with that arm, don't let that arm go too high or back. Drop down. Two, let's lift up, being strict with placement. Exhale for three. Inhale, lock. Good, breathe out four. Inhale, come down. Exhale, five. Inhale, lower. 
Breathe out six and come down. Exhale seven, so much fun. I love a plank. Breathe out eight and come down. Keep checking that elbow. Nine. Now, if you can, let's just stay there. Get comfy, squeeze, check your placement. Nine more, eight more, seven, six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. Relax. Drop those dumbbells aside. I want you to grab that ball. If you're working on the cushion, fold it in half. Find your placement in front. Foot is going to flex. Underneath leg, flex and straight knee. Peel the ribcage and belly off. And let's go, adductors. 10. And down. Breathe, 9. And down. Exhale, 8. This is improving week to week. And 6. Exhale, squeeze. Knee stay straight and 5. And lower. Exhale, 4. And down. Breathe, 3. And down, exhale, two. Now hold that leg up on one, point your foot, flex, and two, and flex, and three, keep it high, and four, and five. Breathe six, and seven, breathe eight, and nine, are we ready? Lift it to your highest point, keep that belly ribs lifted, ten, nine, eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four, and three, and two, and one. That is all. Reach this hand in front, and open this up as you glide your chest to the roof, hand to the back. Keeping that knee on that ball or that cushion for two. Breathe out as you open this up, reach. Wonderful, center, two more. Exhale, open this up. And last time, deep breath. Exhale, let's reach and hold for three. Hold two. Hold one. And let's turn it around. Stay with the same form. So if you work with that ball, cushion and weight, grab and hold of that. Elbow strictly underneath you. Palm facing forward. And we go in ten. And down. Breathe now. And down, and eight, and lower, breathe out seven, and down, exhale six, and lower, breathe out up, and down, exhale four, and down, exhale three, and down, exhale two. Are we ready? Hold this up, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one, dumbbells away. Find that magnificent form, knee and ball in front, hovering those feet. Lift those ribs and bellies and ten. Watching knee doesn't bend, breathe nine. And lower, exhale, eight. And down, and seven. And down, breathe six. Lower, exhale, five. Breathe out, four. Exhale, three. Breathe in now, two. Hold that leg up on one point. Flex and two. And flex and three. And flex, breathe four. And five. And six. And seven. Breathe four, eight. Exhale, nine. One more, ten. Lift up to maximum. Let's do it for ten. Nine. Eight and seven. Breathe six. And five more, and four more, and three, and two, and one. Relax, hand in front, and open this up to reach. Good, drawing it back for two. Breathe out as you open this up and reach. Good, and back two more. Exhale, lengthen it back. And coming back for one more. Breathe out, let's open this and just stretch out. Three, two, one as you draw it back. And let's grab onto that ball and that L cushion. 
We place it underneath your sacrum. If your neck is feeling up for one more, you can grab those weights. If your neck is tired, work without the weights for me. And let's get that core activated before we mobilize and stretch you. So placing that ball and cushion under your sacrum, not in the middle of your back. I want your knees pulled into the body, ankles and knees stay glued. And when you're ready, reach your hands above, palms facing each other. If it's too much with weights, work without them. From here, we glide those arms back, legs extend without letting your lower back feel compromised. And draw it back. Squeeze those inner thighs. Feel those lower abs power this move. Let's go for three. Stunning inhale. Exhale for four. And we come back. Breathe out for five. Not letting those shoulders and ribs tense or pop out. Breathe out. I just want three more. Exhale, stretch, and give me two. Exhale, stretch. Are we ready for our final corset? Legs stay straight. We go to 90. Lengthen down. Let's go two. Making sure the power is from your transverse muscles, not from the hips, not from your thighs or your lower back. Giving me five more. Breathe out, lengthen down. Inhale, four. Exhale, two, lower. And breathe, three. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, two. Breathe out, two, lower. Last time, breathe for one. Exhale, lower, stay for five, four, Three and two, breathe, one, drop your weights down, hug your knees into the body and make sure that ball and cushion is still in the right spot. And let's get this body balanced. Keeping that back knee pulled in, stretch that leg along the ground. And what's important to me is that you are getting this flexor to stretch. So if you want to adjust the positioning of that ball and cushion, go for it. The deeper we pull the knee, the deeper that psoas activates. Open this front arm, the knee that you're holding, open it outwards and feel that double hip opener for four, for three, for two, we're going to come back on one. Grab the back of your leg and flex and stretch, keeping your knee still, twirl the foot around, get that ankle limber, loose, three, four, and five, other way, one, two, three, four, flex again, stretch it out, and pull to maximum, check those hips are in line, no falling off that ball. Good. I want you to bend that knee so that you can actually hold your foot. Anchor yourself down with that back arm. Bend this other leg in to support you. And we take that foot across and stretch whatever your maximum is. And this should be like, wow, rubs, ITB, so added stretch. I'm feeling it. Pull those toes up. Imagine I'm pulling your hips into that ball cushion. Good. Bend those legs, ankle on thigh, and pull the legs into the body for the bum stretch. This one should feel so wonderful. Do me a favor and stay in that position. Just slide your knees directly on top of each other and move into your piriformis, that under bum stretch. So deepening that activation. Brilliant, let's go on to the other side. So stretch that other leg, pull this knee deep into you and find that it flexes, a stretch out. Anchoring your back arm, open up this knee and get that stretch of those hips. Nice, and from here, flex and stretch it out. 
and twirl that foot around five, four, three, two, and one, twirl, two, three, four, and flex and stretch, shaking your hips online, get that calf, that hamstring to stretch. Slide that other leg in, grab your toes, even if the knee's really bent, it's okay. Take that foot across and then push through your heel. Get that deep activation. Five, four, three, three, two, and one. Angle onto your thigh. Pull the legs into the body and stretch out bum and hip. Sliding your knee across, get that piriformis muscle, that underbum stretch. Good, and from here, opening up into your SI joint and it flexes option A. If you can move to happy baby, try get there. And anchoring hips into that ball, that cushion, your shoulder blade connected to the floor. And we did a lot of upper body focus. So I don't want any tension in those traps or jaws. So from here, I want you to take that ball and cushion. Place it in the thoracic spine. So just at the base of the shoulder blades. Rest your back hand behind your head. And from here, we reach it up and over. Find this comfy spot. The front arm just does three loops and think of that shoulder blade getting a massage on that ball or that cushion. Should feel very nice. And either way, I just wanna bring that rush of blood flow to the area. Two, and one, and reaching that arm above your head and just let that body zen there for three, two, and one, swap up and behind you, reach that other hand to the back and circle around, three, mobilize that shoulder blade, two, and one, other way, circling, three, breathe out, two, and one, reach that arm out, if your head feels comfy, then take both hands and just stretch, And making sure that neck is 100% recovered. Take that cushion and ball, place it underneath your head comfortably. Rest the body, set it perfectly, let those hips just turn out, palms face up. And for four reps, taking your head side to side as you think of this as lubricating the scalenes and just rebalancing and resetting. Two more side to side. I could just do this one all day, it's so nice. And one more. Good, and from here, pull the knees deep into your chair for that lumbar spine release. Swing these bodies up, turning around, toes dig in, and let's go maximum stretch out, lengthen through the spine down your heels. Walk your hands to your legs. Before you roll it up, soften those knees. Relax neck and shoulders and take your time. Roll up. Good. At the top, neck stretch. Hand on ear and enjoy. Shoulders staying down. Up and over, let's stretch. Beautiful hands on back of the head, chin down and stretch. Good, interlace hands behind you, open up that chest, stretching this out. Let's keep those hands placed and just glide forward, let your head, neck, shoulders relax. And a big stretch up, wrap your arms around your legs. Stretch those knees and hold for three. Hold two. Hold one. Let go of the breath as you stack your spine up. Draw your right arm. Sway your hips side. In 
inhale, back of the way, sway. And nice, relaxed shoulders recovered, rebalance, three. And two, and one, other way, three. And two, spinal roll, body's feeling centered, strong, feeling fabulous. Take a deep breath and stack your vertebra as you roll it up. Be strict with placement and take your breath in. Exhale, out one more. Take your breath in and deep. Exhale and relax. Yes, guys, I hope you feel wonderful and ready for the rest of your day. I just want to say 